Now to the reaction in Washington. As we've been reporting this morning, President Obama is calling for a moment of silence this morning to honor the victims of the tragedy in Tucson. He's also ordered flags to be flown at half staff. CBS News congressional correspondent Nancy Cordes has more now from Capitol Hill for us this morning. Nancy, good morning. Chris, good morning to you. Yes, members here on Capitol Hill are still stunned. Congresswoman Giffords is well liked here, as was her staffer, Gabe Zimmerman. And now some are questioning whether the increasingly angry tone in politics could have contributed to a culture of violence. Members of Congress took their soul searching public Sunday. It's been a much angrier, confrontational environment over the last two or three years. Much of it uh, originates. Uh, here in Washington, D.C., and we export it around the country. Look no further than recent campaign ads. And I'll take dead aim at the cap and trade bill. Filled with images and rhetoric that would once have been considered off limits. Gather your armies. Congresswoman Giffords complained when crosshairs were placed on her district and 19 others on a Sarah Palin campaign website. When people do that, they've got to realize there's consequences to that action. Palin expressed her condolences to the victims on Facebook this weekend, but has not addressed the controversy. A top Palin aide did grant one interview to Tammy Bruce, a right-wing radio host who dubs herself, quote, a chick with a gun and a microphone. The graphic it's just, it's basic. We're not, we never, ever, ever intended it to be gun sites. It was simply crosshairs like you'd see on maps. Newly installed speaker John Boehner sought to soothe rattled House members. No act, uh, no matter how heinous, uh, must be allowed to stop us from our duty. All legislation here on Capitol Hill has been canceled this week, save for a resolution Wednesday honoring Congresswoman Giffords and the other victims. Chris. CBS's Nancy Cordes on the Hill for us this morning. Nancy, thank you.